What's up everybody? Uh, just thought I'd check in uh, and tell you that I am streaming over on Twitch almost every day. So if you find yourselves at home with nothing to do, uh, come on over and hang out with me. Uh, there's a link in the description for that. Alright, let's get into it. What's up folks? I'm on my sweatpants. We're cooking some food. Uh, why are we cooking food? Is this a cooking channel? No, that's not why we're cooking. Uh, we're cooking because one of the most important lessons I ever learned in college was from David De Jesus. Shout out, Dave. Uh, he was the Latin jazz ensemble instructor, and uh, he taught us a lot of music. Let's get that straight. But he would have these little sit-downs where he's like, listen, everybody, I'm gonna learn you what like the real facts are. And he was like, learn how to cook. Because you're gonna get out of this school, you're gonna try to be a freelance musician, and if you don't know how to cook, you're gonna be spending all of your money on that and not getting anywhere in life. So, I'm gonna teach you how to make something. This is a ton of food for a small amount of money. Plus it's vegan, so there. Uh, and zero waste. Come on, everybody. Uh, this is uh, coconut oil in a glass jar, metal lid, you can recycle that. Start with that, and then we got, look at this. One whole onion. I'm thinking about putting a second onion in because I'm a loose cannon. We're just gonna wait till the onion gets like clear. There are no rules to a stew or, or a soup or anything like this. You can put whatever you want in. You just have to kind of know what takes the longest to cook. Let's get everything out and see what kind of stuff we're working with. We've got spinach, kale, broccoli, potatoes. You can use sweet potato, I usually get sweet potatoes. Uh, there's a lime, you got a red pepper, and we got a whole bunch of carrots. So I'll fill it up with water. Actually, I'll do that right now. We're gonna start with potatoes. Uh, cause those take the longest to cook. I also have garlic. Usually you, you start with the garlic, you wanna cook that, uh, with the onion. Uh, I'm trying something a little new. And I'm just gonna, I'm gonna throw it in chunks in the stock. I feel like that's a thing people do. I'm not a chef, I don't know what I'm doing. I just find the speed at which I cook, which is a little slower than most people, I end up burning the garlic. So, I'm gonna try... Uh, basically throwing it in the stock and seeing what that does. Uh, I've never done that before, but guess what? There are no rules! I've got some quinoa, so I'm gonna throw that in here with the stock instead of cooking it first. There are no rules. Alright, well that's going. I'm gonna show you how to make beans. And this is what's important. So, first of all, zero waste beans. Uh, I've got, like, black beans, kidney beans. <laughs> Here's what you need to know. It's not hard, okay? That's all that matters to me. So, see that pot right there? It's got some water in it. It's gonna start to boil. You pour some beans in there. You wait. And then you enjoy beans. It's as easy as that. Seriously. I'm not even kidding. That's it. You just pour beans in. I didn't pour enough in because I was making a point. So I'm gonna pour some more beans in. Kidney beans are... Super nutritious, it turns out. And so if you're on a budget, and you're not buying kidney beans, the beans will not be ready in time for this the first time I eat it because I didn't plan for this. And uh, that's why you know this isn't a cooking show. Where's my, where's my lid? Who took my lid? Over here, no? Am I on drugs? Found it. So, okay, we got the beans cooking over there. Those will take a few hours, really. So just keep them going, just kind of stir them every once in a while, you're fine. Over here, I've got quinoa, onion, and water. We're waiting for the water to boil. I'm gonna start cutting up some spuds. I don't think I've ever said the word spud in my whole life. Oh, spices. This is my spice rack from Nice Spice, G-N-E-I-S-S, -S, uh, zero waste spices. Awesome glass jars, metal tops, and they send the refills in uh, zero waste compostable bags. Shout out to them. Woman owned company, come on. So this is cumin, I'm gonna start with that. And let me get my teaspoons out, oh just kidding. I'm gonna throw some turmeric in. Turmeric is really, really good. But you need some pepper for it to be bioavailable. Your body can't quite process the turmeric without pepper. So we're gonna throw some pepper in. How about that? You're getting a nutrition lesson too. Didn't think we were going there. Salt, if you're cooking for yourself, this is, this is no joke. I know most people aren't gonna run into this, but you need iodine in your diet and we get it in iodized salt. So if you're using those fancy pants salts, I got some, look at this. 
I got fancy pants salts. It's all like red and stuff. It's fine. But you need iodine in your diet, okay? So throw some iodized salt in your meals if you're not eating out. Most people you're going to eat a burger once a month and have plenty of iodized salt in your diet. But for the rest of us, you need some salt. Alright, we're going to pop over here. I got curry, I got chili powder, and cayenne. So this is going to be for real. We're not joking around over here. This is going to be one of those like soups where you got to have like a, a Kleenex behind. I hate it. I hate it. I hate that Kleenex got like the culture to just say their brand instead of a freaking tissue. I don't even use tissues. Look at this. I am realizing right now <laughs> I'm out of control. So I'm not going to do all these. Let's see. Let's do, let's do dill. I like dill. My mom gave me that one. She was like, you want something to taste fresh? Throw some dill and some mint in there. Uh, I'll do dill and basil. I'm going to throw the garlic in. I forgot to do that. And uh, if y'all don't have a compost, Get a freaking compost! So like I said, usually you would throw this in before and like sear it in a pan. I'm throwing it right in. I'll let you know if I regret that. <laughs> but uh, there are no rules, let's find out. All right, carrot time. And the cool thing about this, and honestly, kind of everything I make, because I'll do stews like this, soups, I'll do, uh, you know, salads, sure. Uh, stir fries, and with all of these, especially the vegan options, you just kind of go through the produce section of the store and uh, pick what looks good, see what's in season, see what's cheap, whatever you want. And uh, it all tastes good. It really all tastes good together. And depending on what you get, it tastes different. And so it's not like you're making the same thing over and over and over. Uh, and it's super cheap, super healthy, really good. Uh, one thing to think about is diversifying the colors of the foods. Maybe you've heard that before. So we got lots of green, red, orange, yellow. Uh, we're doing pretty good. I guess it's a good idea to test them as you go. That's a carrot right there. There's nothing worse than finishing something like this and having an ingredient that like just sucks and completely ruins the whole thing. Because then you try to eat it. You know, the whole reason that you're doing this is to save money and stuff, and it, it really blows when you have that, so. Test the stuff as you go, good idea. Bam, look at those carrots, they look so good. I'm gonna put a few of these in a hole and then cut up some of the rest. Say it with me, there are no rules. Did you say it with me, but you didn't. Bet you didn't even know what I was gonna say. Now you do, say it with me. There are no rules, you didn't say it with me, did you? If anybody actually said it with me that time, don't freaking lie to me, I can tell. Comment, cause I would love it if somebody said it with me. There's good knife technique and there's bad knife technique. And I think I'm somewhere in between. You're supposed to tuck your thumb back and put your fingernails out. So if you the knife scrapes you, it just scrapes your fingernails and doesn't cut off a digit. I looked it up one time, somebody made fun of me. And they were like, you're gonna cut off a finger. After I like was mad about it, I was like, no I'm not. I haven't cut off a finger, I've been cooking for years. Then I was like, you know what? I should, I should probably look up good knife technique. And that's what they said. They said just tuck your thumb back in your hand, put your fingernails out, and as you go, you won't cut off a digit. But I'm really slow with that, so I just make sure your thumb's out of the way. Don't forget to stir your beans. It's your Chris Bill word of the day. Don't forget to spill your beans. Stir, stir your beans. Stir your beans, everybody. You're going to cut off the end like that. And then you can look inside, bam. So there's three little dimples on the outside. You're gonna cut alongside those. That's where all the seeds are. And so you can go all the way down. Can you see me? Oh, you can see me. All the way down like that and check it out. And so you, you've got this piece, which you weren't gonna eat anyway. You got this piece, which is all the stuff you're gonna eat. So you do that two more times with a red pepper. Some peppers have four. And check this out. You got just the seeds and this little piece. And that goes in the compost. Oh, remember, we gotta eat it first. Gotta make sure it's good. I just threw it in. It was great. So I'm gonna let this go for a little bit. I'll probably wash. I'll probably wash the spinach. Um, so that'll be ready for salads and stuff regardless if I put it in. Oh, it tastes a lot like potato. Oh, and it's spicy. Uh, this soup is ready to go. I could eat it just like this. Uh, so that's when you want to add the, the greens in. Uh, and really not before, because... Uh, they just need to get warm. They don't need to cook. They lose their nutrients really fast. 
And so, I'm actually gonna cut the, the heat off. We got a fresh kale, looking dope. All that goes in. Uh, again, we already turned off the burner. So this is just gonna kinda heat up. You can already see that kale is turning that deep green. So it really doesn't need much heat. We have a beautiful, can you see the steam? Oh, you can. <gasps> yes. I hope I don't spill it. Oh, I almost did. If you learn how to do something like this, it's very easy stuff and it will allow you to stay healthy, which is really important if you're trying to be a freelance musician, because if you are sick, it's really hard uh, to be productive and uh, it will allow more money to stay in your pocket. This is honestly, like I said, one of the <laughs> best things I learned in music school is that this is an important skill for a freelance musician. So that's one thing. Uh, I make my own peanut butter. I make my own breads a lot of the time. There's, there's lots of stuff that you can, if you've got the time uh, and you've got the patience, you can amp that up. But something like this, uh, you got no excuse, it's super easy. You can now take that giant pot of stuff and I can put it into little uh, serving size freezer containers and literally have something to eat months from now if I want it. So, hope you learned something and uh, I'm gonna dig into this. That's how you do it, that's Seableezy Nose Cooking Edition. Bam, bam, bam. I'll see you guys next time. <laughs>